Oh boy. What's up YouTube? What's up YouTube? This is all a monk. All a monk coming right at you. Um, I was on the internet, read an article about what's going on in the motherland. I need to check out my other uh, video talking about after the bread basket. Um, it's a lot of militant attacks on villages. Uh, it's estimated they killed over 2,000 people, almost eradicated one village in Nigeria. It's really, it's really saddening to see people kill each other and they're the same people. You gotta ask yourself one question, why? Key factors is this, let's, let's, now let's erase the humans for, let's subtract them for a minute and go to the resources that is in the ground in Africa. It's rich with oil, yes, and they do a lot of international co commerce, meaning they do trade to the Far East, do trade to many countries abroad. So, it's a lot of things that's going on in that continent of Africa. Diamonds, you got uh, <coughs> conglomerates, company, you got companies over there, uh, uh, institutions over there that's been raking Africa's resources to the coal for a long time. You have the rubber industry, rubber trees, that's where you get rubber from. King Leopard and his regime in the Congo yes raping it for years you have to go in depth and uh, study these things you know I get my resources from books that uh, scholars had written back in the day and I appreciate those men some of them has gone and passed on the greener pastures but they left their legacy behind so young brothers like me can take heed and read this is where I get my resources and I get my resources off the social media outlets, you know, CNN International, CNN International, that's one good source, and other media outlets. Um, yeah, the Nigerian Pelicars, that's what I call it. You know, when you look at the images, images of the children burnt, third degree burnt, Burns, and you know they say they, they you know they catching people up in a uh, in their little shacks or whatever, little tenements, and burn them alive, burning people alive. What a way to go out! You always think you got it bad. Someone else got it worse. People over there suffering. People, folks, they suffer because the greater greed of the unseen. See. They show you the chaos. They show you the the, 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 the the carnage. But do they show you why the carnage is going down? No, they don't. It's always something behind another door. Always remember that. When I when I subtracted the humans out for a minute, that's why that's why I'm, try, I'm trying to break it down to you. Trying to break it down to me, to you. Excuse me for that. This damn computer, this damn computer been acting up. So, you know, I'm gonna keep going on this one. I want y'all to really get it. Um, these people give you all this information, but you gotta wonder why you got militants killing the indigenous people killing these people for absolutely nothing something's behind it now you got this these extremists these Islamic extremists these Christ look religion is a tool for the devil to play both sides order out of chaos it's an old tactic so 
you got these people all caught up in their in their ideologies and they fighting against each other, and they call it militants and they call it and they call it extremists. Now you got two factions fighting against against each other. On the other turn, in the meanwhile, the backdoor man is hauling off the goods out of the motherland again, while people are falling, kicking the bucket. It's other interlopers in there raping the land. The oil, the resources, the diamonds, the rubber, the minerals, everything. That is the breadbasket. Now, I'm going to go and say this. It's another continent that people is not aware of. That they're destroying. Hauling out all the wood. That's the buffer. It's the Amazon rainforest. Mm-hmm. Not a continent, well, whatever. It's the Amazon rainforest. Think about it. That's why I'm chilling right now. Think about it. That's a buffer. Meaning, why I say it's a buffer, the Amazon cleanses the water and everything for this side of the country. And it takes care of a lot of places. It's a main hub for nature. You wonder why you got storms coming from South America on up into America and ripping it apart. That can be one of the main reasons. They destroying the buffer. God put things in places for a reason. Always remember that. But man don't care because man ultimately is destroying itself. And the Bible is, is flipping. Now, let me get back to what I was talking about. Just think about that. Yes, the blood is riding to the horse's bridle. Yes, if God don't come back, no flesh will be saved. Now, how much proof do you need of a biblical text, a biblical book telling you here it is? In plain view, and that's what's going on in Nigeria. The, the the blood is actually rising to the horse's bridle. People are getting slaughtered, man, man and woman. People are getting slaughtered for the greater gain of the resources. See, they watch this media. I get my resources, but you got to go behind the media and do your own investigation yourself. So all you social media political buffs on YouTube and on other platforms that's what you have to do because you just can't get it from one source you got to go to other sources you know and find out your interpretation of what's going on now that's the only thing I can see you know since I've been a little kid all these little flies around baby African babies faces malaria and all this and all that and this Santa Claus looking dude talking about sin money to this charity and he, he's down South America, he's down Africa, all he talks about. Let me tell you something. Boo. Boo. That's propaganda at the highest form. Again, when you got a vast majority of people that's suffering, it's something in that land that's being hauled out of there through the back door. And that's what's going on. And then they, they, they uh, somehow get these uh, these puppet masters of the government and put them in place like a chess game they they they, they train these guys they can be uh, XCIA or or, or, or Manchurian candidates or whatever they get these guys they train them and put them over these governments and they are not for the people they are for their own own endeavor to screw the people and that's what's going on some of them African people on that UN ain't for Nigeria all this stuff wouldn't be happening these guys running them up killing all these people up for what oh it's their uh, 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 their Islamic extremists uh, 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 okay it's something more than that again they use the devil uses religion And people that's caught up in that spell, he uses that to eradicate both factions for the greater gain of the destruction of the earth. And that's what's going on. 
you got two factions you got this faction saying this is it's crazy and again I must keep enforcing this the back door man which is your major corporations your your corporations that's got they hook line and sinker and the African soil are raping that place to the bone why they shoot this German warfare over there to the people the people got AIDS and all these uh, parasites in the water it's bullshit excuse me I gotta go there it's bullshit you got people over there doing that shit putting that shit in that land fucking that land up so they can get what they want out of there and let the people die that's what's going on and they're using their people to do it they're using the old tactic give a little sum take all which meaning that militant faction is probably an outside setup they throw them a little kudos women drugs clothes food food yeah if you're talking about trillions and billions of dollars they making that ain't shit to them so they use they they use the people of the land that's been in the land to kill the other people in the land, so they can get everything out the land. See, <coughs> woo! And I know this is a long video, but it, it got to be addressed. It got to be addressed. You know, you see the images. It's sad. Women uh, kidnapping schoolgirls, and who knows what they doing to them. When does enough become enough? I guess not. When does human life become nothing? Nothing. Not worth nothing. When does human life become nothing? That's what you gotta understand. This thing is not just in America. It's all over. As you can see, it's all over. You, you, you got stuff happening with the, the cops and the citizens in America. You got newspaper uh, 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 people getting insulted, vice versa. You got terrorism, counterterrorism, whatever you want to call it, over in France. They go, they off the chain. They people killing each other over there. Now you got Nigeria. It's all over the world. Chaos. The blood is rising, and the book is turning. And people need to look at this. The book is turning. You cannot. You cannot debate the book. It's in the book. If he doesn't come back, no flush will be saved. How much do you need to understand that? So what you see is what that book is talking about. I'm not no theologian. I'm not no uh, 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 scholar of the Bible back and front. But I got common sense and wisdom to know certain things in that Bible and it's on point 100% not 95 not 25 not fraction and this not for not not this is 100% 100% it's on point people all I can say live by the text live by the live by the oaths live by the law I know there's a lot of temptation out here. I know there's problems in your families, my family. I know the demon is, is out here. He's trying, to, he trying to divide everyone he can. He's eating up whole continents. This thing is serious. It's deeper than you know. I can go on and on about it. This is about Nigeria. My, my, my prayers go out to my, my people across the water in the motherland. It saddens me to see these kids and, 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 and people's loved ones get slaughtered because of evil demonic people that want that bread basket for themselves and don't want the people that, that live there as residents of that land to stay there. They want them dead, point blank. And then the people they put in place to do that, they get them too. It's just like the old mob, a gang. 
you got a hit man to do hits for you then they hire another hit man to hit the other hit man because the hit man know too much that's how vicious it is vicious this cycle is and that's what's going on leave your comments below that's it that's it for me leave your comments below I'm out